Welcome to our channel. I hope I am here with a video you will like. What if the British Empire had invented the internet not in the 20th century, but exactly a century earlier, in the mid-1800s? Imagine Victorian London, illuminated not only by gas lamps, but by glittering telegraph screens. Imagine that decolonial governments communicate instantly between continents, trade is carried out at the speed of like, and information spreads faster than steamships can travel. Today, we are diving into an alternative history in which the Industrial Revolution gave birth to the Digital Revolution, a hundred years earlier than planned. In our timeline, the internet required computers, microchips, and satellites, but in this alternate history, the foundation was already there. The telegraph, the steam engine, and the vast reach of the British Empire. In the 1830s, Charles Babbage designed his analytical engine, essentially the blueprint for a computer. If his invention had been properly funded and improved, Britain could have pioneered mechanical computers in the Victorian era. Now, imagine engineers combining Babbage's machines with global telegraph cables, transforming Morse code into a primitive form of digital communication. This Victorian internet would allow instant messages, not only in text, but possibly in crude image transfers, decades before radio even existed. The British Empire ruled a quarter of the world's population. With an early internet, colonial offices from India to Africa would be able to communicate instantly with London. Military coordination would undergo a revolutionary change. Rebellions would be detected more quickly. Troop deployments would be optimized, and intelligence would be shared in real time. Wars such as the Crimean War or the Boer Wars would have very different outcomes, further consolidating the British Empire's dominance. But beyond the war, trade itself would change. The London Stock Exchange, which was already a financial center, would be able to exchange data instantly with the colonies. Cotton prices in India, gold markets in South Africa, and tea shipments from China could be monitored live and bought and sold. This would ensure Britain's economic dominance was unshakable. The empire would be not only the world's workshop, but also its digital brain. A Victorian information age. The early internet wouldn't just be about power, it would reshape society. Imagine newspapers with live updates, decades before radio. Imagine universities sharing their discoveries instantly. Darwin's theory of evolution spreading around the world in hours. Education would explode. Even in the colonies, students would be able to access the digital libraries of British universities. But of course, access would not be equal. The imperial network could be restricted to the elite, scientists and military officers. The working class could continue to be excluded, widening the gap between rich and poor. This raises a question. Will the internet be a tool of freedom? or a new tool of control for imperialism. Political Consequences Information is power, and with the internet, it spreads fast. On one hand, the empire might use it to suppress uprisings more effectively, but on the other, colonized people could also coordinate resistance. 
revolutionaries in India could communicate instantly with movements in Ireland or Africa. The very tool meant to strengthen the empire might plant the seeds of its downfall. Victorian censorship would be fierce. The British government would likely create the world's first surveillance state, monitoring digital conversations, filtering what people could read, and punishing dissent. Yet history shows that censorship never works forever. Once knowledge spreads, it cannot be contained. A century of acceleration. If the internet had been born in the 19th century, everything else would have advanced faster. Power grids, artificial intelligence, space travel, they could have all emerged decades earlier. Perhaps by the 1950s, Britain would not just be a colonial empire, but an interplanetary empire. But would the empire survive long enough? Or would the same technology that gave it an edge lead to its downfall as the colonies, united by digital communication, fought for independence? This would be a kind of apocalyptic scenario for Britain. What if the British Empire had invented the internet in the 19th century? It could have created a global digital empire that controlled trade, politics, and information like never before. But it could also have sparked revolutions that no army could stop. Ultimately, technology is never neutral. It empowers those who control it, but it also empowers those who resist. And perhaps the biggest question isn't whether Britain would have invented the internet early. It's whether humanity is ready for it. So, what do you think? If Britain had invented the internet, what would have been in store for the British Empire, its colonies, and of course, other peoples? Please share your thoughts in the comments. This concludes another video. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for your support. The British Lens